Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and right now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the PDF usage in Python. So Python being a high level language, well PDF is one of the most important and widely used digital media uh, used to present and exchange documents most likely but PDFs contain useful information, links and buttons, form fields, audio, video and business logic. Basically it can contain anything. Now, why should we use the Python to actually perform the PDF processing? Well, PDF processing comes under text analytics. Most of the text analytics library or framework are designed in Python only. This gives leverage on text analytics and, and once you extract the useful information from PDF, you can easily use the data into any machine learning or natural language processing module. Okay, so common Python libraries that basically uh, are used to handle PDF files. We have PDF Miner, it is tool for extracting information from PDF documents. We have Py2 PD or PyPDF2. It is a pure Python PDF library capable of splitting, merging together, cropping and transforming the pages of PDF files. It can also add custom data viewing options and passwords to PDF files. Uh, it can retrieve text and metadata from PDFs as well as merge entire files together. We have also some tabula.py, slate, PDF query and HPDF. Now, of course, we are not going to take a look at all of them. What we are going to take a look at is the uh, PyPDF2 library. Now, if you open up your idle and simply just type here uh, import by PDF2, you will see that you will get an error no module named by PDF2. That is because this doesn't come pre-installed in actual Python 3. Therefore, we need to open up our command prompt, navigate to our actual Python uh, scripts uh, directory, uh, programs, cd python, cd python 37, then cd scripts, and there we will just type pip install by PDF2. Press here enter and this should perform the installation of the library that we need in order to actually perform these different tasks using PDF files. Okay? So let us see right here. Successfully installed by PDF2. Okay. We can close this right now and we can reopen our actual uh, terminal. Or pardon me, not terminal, idle. Now let us go right here, let us go to our Google Chrome, let us type .pdf, let us go to the PDF document, doesn't even matter, the first PDF document that we find, we will open it, and this is this document right here. So let us save it, we will save it onto our desktop right here. Save it. Let me see right here. It is right at the desktop as we can see right here. Let us rename it. Let's call it PDF file, doesn't even matter. Just so it doesn't only be named as PDF. Now we need to, first of all, in order to actually open this PDF file, we need to uh, navigate to the this desktop directory. So import OS, OS print working directory or os.get get cwd okay so os.change directory and we want to change directory to uh, this part of the actual link or the actual path paste it right here and also at desktop press here enter and now if we get current working directory, we can see that we are on the, onto the desktop directory where our PDF file is. Okay. So right now that we did all of that, we can simply just import py PDF2. So import py PDF2 as we did install it uh, seconds ago. Now uh, find any PDF file object and open it as a regular file. So PDF file object is going to be equal to open and in between the brackets we'll simply specify uh, pdf file let me just see whether i have two f's or one okay so one f let us just remove this one pdf file 
dot pdf and then comma read bytes press your enter we open the file and now we want to create the pdf reader object in order to do that we can simply just type here pdf reader equals py pdf2 dot and now we're going to use pdf file reader onto our pdf file object which is basically just our file being opened for reading bytes so right here specify pdf file object press your enter and simply you created your pdf reader now let's say you want to get the number of pages in pdf file that you opened you can simply just type here print pdf reader dot num pages press your enter and you will see it retrieves an integer number of five which means there are five pages onto this pdf file so let us open it let's see whether our python is correct and whether there really is five pages there we can see page one two three four and five okay so it really is correct there are five pages right here and right now uh, if you want to, for example, get a page object in order to edit or in order to ch check something in uh, on a certain page, you can simply just do it by uh, specifying a page object. Let's type it right this page object equals PDF reader dot get page, which is a function that will get the page specified in the brackets and we want to page zero, which is going to be the first page. Okay. And now if we, if we want to, for example, extract the extract the text from the page uh, which will print the text you can also save that into a string if you want to now we, in order to just print it you can simply just type print and then page object dot extract text press your enter and you will see the text from the page that we specified in our uh, get page function so this is the first page all of the text from it and if you want to change something to this you can and now let us take a look at the reading the table data from pdf now in order to work with the table in pdf we can use the tabula dash py which is another actual uh, library that doesn't come in python 3 therefore we need to pip install it once again let me just lower this i will open up my command prompt I will cd to the HP data, cd to local, cd to programs, cd to python, cd to python 37, and then cd scripts. There we will install pip install tabula-py. We will let this install. It will collect the library itself. As we can see, it is a little bit larger library than the actual P uh, pypdf2. And I will simply just use the syntax, uh, and I will simply just show you the syntax of using this library. So we can see right here, collecting pandas. Okay, so it's collecting another thing that it needs. It is a total of 29 megabytes, as if this is everything. Okay, so it is not everything. We also need the NumPy library that is 11 megabytes large. So let us let that download as well before we continue. Hopefully that is about it. Okay, and on one more, which was a little bit long, uh, smaller. Another one, okay. It installed everything, installed collected packages. And right now, hopefully this download will finish. Okay, it says the script f2py.txe is installed in this path, which is, on, which is not on path which basically means we can't run it from anywhere we want. Okay, and it's performing some of the finishing of the installation itself. So let us let that finish as well before we continue. And right now I will just show you the syntax while this is downloading as we can see successfully installed. Okay, we can close this. And right now in order to actually import this library, you need to type here import tabula. Press here enter. It will import the tabular library and you can read the table data. You can use something like this. So df equals tabula.read underscore pdf. And then you simply just, whoops, pdf. 
and in between the brackets you will need to specify the name of the file that you want to read from. Let us just see right here, Java command is not found through this path to ensure Java is installed and path is set for Java. Okay, so looks like this library actually requires Java for some reason. Therefore, we will skip it because it is not really that important. You can just use Py to PDF. I just wanted to show you an actual different option that you can use uh, in order to handle PDF files, but doesn't even matter. We'll just leave it on that. What we saw right here is how we can open the PDF file, how we can read the PDF file, get number of pages, uh, extract text from pages. Of course, there are other functions as well. Make sure to check them out on the internet. You can just simply just type PyPDF PDF2 and see what available functions are there for that library. And hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.